The arrival of coaches and passenger locomotives signals progress in the actualization of the SGR story, the country's biggest infrastructure project yet. We, you are aware that we had uh, ordered for 40 coaches. We will be receiving 40, 30, 32 of those. Some of those, two of those are for luggage and the rest are for the business, first class and second class. <laughs> The trains arriving days after the delivery of another batch of locomotives. The engines and coaches are set to undergo prerequisite tests in readiness for official use beginning mid this year. We will now be ready in the course of February going to May to start uh, testing and commissioning of the truck and the equipment that uh, is, we already are in the process of bringing through. These machines have however attracted criticism from skeptical Kenyans who claim that they don't look modern after all. Claims that Kenya Railways is quick to refute. When you look at the locomotive, the, fre the passenger locomotive just behind us here, this passenger locomotive is widely used in China to move millions of people per day. So we are using a product that we are fully aware of. Data from Kenya Railways indicate that these coaches come in handy with, among other features, Wi-Fi services air conditioners and catering services. The coaches can accommodate 72 and 118 first class and second class passengers respectively. The dining coaches have a 50 passenger capacity. The modern locomotives have both diesel and electric power abilities and can hit top speeds of between 100 and 158 kilometers per hour. They can pull up to 1,200 passengers and freight weighing up to 2,000 tons because we believe Kenyans deserve better and the product that we brought on board is a reflection of uh, the service that people are going to enjoy on the Standard Gauge Railway. The 327 billion shillings SGR project is expected to actualize beginning June this year. Patrick Igunza, Citizen Weekend.